Today is a day I've been waiting for for a really long time. Today I'll be building my very first rack unit. First, I'll be going over the layout of how I want this rack unit to be. I'll be using a six U or six unit rack case um, from SKB to house everything. I'm gonna have five layers and I'll go over those layers right now. So on top, I'm going to have the Furman power supply. And this is gonna power everything, like I said, from the Power Stage 700 to the pedals, to the tuner, everything's gonna be powered through this. Under that is gonna be the Power Stage 700, the Seymour Duncan Power Stage 700. This is going to power my cabinets, whatever cabinet I'm running out to. This has two inputs and two outputs, so I can do two at a time. Um, however, I like to just keep it to one unless I'm jamming with friends or whatever. Then I'll go ahead and throw in that second one. And under that is gonna be the Korg Pitch Black Pro rack tuner. I really like the way this one looks with everything turned on. It's nice and bright and whatnot, so I'm gonna throw that one on. Plus it's like one of the only one, only rack tuners out right now, so that's pretty cool. Under that, I'm gonna have the pedal board section, which is gonna consist of the Line 6 HX stump with the Avalanche run by Earthquaker Devices in the effects loop, so I can throw that in anywhere just for some reverb. And then I'm gonna have the Line 6 going into the dark glass element, which I'm gonna use as my DI out, whether I wanna throw that into a PA or an audio interface, or just have more control over my sound, more than I have with the presets in the HX Stomp or the Seymour Duncan Power Stage. I can control a lot of stuff in the element through my phone via Bluetooth. And yeah, I'm gonna have that going out into the Seymour Duncan Power Stage, and then that's gonna go into my cabinet. Under that is gonna be the patch bay. So this patch bay is gonna have only two outputs, which is gonna be the XLR for the element to go to the PA or audio interface, and then I'm gonna have the MIDI out, which is gonna control the HX stump. And I'm gonna use the MIDI Commander by Mellow Audio to control the HX stump. So this is everything I'll be using for the rack unit build today. It's taken a few months to collect everything here, so I'm really, really, really excited to see how everything works together when it's done and how it looks. So now that I've introduced everything that I'm gonna use for this rack unit build, um, I do have to run to Lowe's to get some more equipment, so I'll take you along with me uh, for that. Lowe's is packed as hell. I guess everyone was doing like their weekend projects or whatever, but um, luckily Lowe's I feel like is one of those places where like everybody that spends more than like $25,000 on a truck parks in the back just because they think they're like hot shit or something. So there's a lot of parking in the front. So I didn't have to walk too far even though it's like hella windy. Okay, I just got back. Uh, I got some things from Lowe's. What I got was some Velcro for the um, pedal board section. I have some screws for the patch bay because I don't I don't know which screws are gonna fit, but I got three different kinds. And I have more in my drawer, so I don't know. I'll figure out what's gonna work. Okay, so I changed up angles here a bit. Um, I have the rack unit like down on the table because that's kind of the best way and safest way to make sure that all the equipment you're putting in is going in nice and even and not has any tension on wrong spots. So this is gonna be the top and this is gonna be the bottom area. So like I said, on top is going to be the Furman power conditioner. So let's get that in. So now I'm gonna line up the holes on the side. Make sure they're nice and even. Okay, there you go. So the Furman power stage is in. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the Seymour Duncan power stage 700 right underneath that. So this one, I have the rack ears on it already. Um, you have to install those 
get it, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna line it up, make sure everything's even, and then screw it in. Okay, there we go. The Seymour Duncan Power Stage 700 is in there. Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the Korg Pitch Black Pro. So for this one, it's kind of weird because the Seymour Duncan Power Stage 700 is like one and a half rack units wide. So it pushes this down a bit. So I have to only put two screws on the bottom but I'm okay with that because this unit is really freaking light, so it doesn't need all four screws. So let's get this in there. Okay, the Korg Pitch Black Mini is inside the rack unit. So next, I have two options, which I haven't yet decided what I wanna do, but I could either put the pedal board together or get the patch bay together. So I decided to do the patch bay. So this is gonna be on the very bottom. I punched out one hole, and this is honestly a lot harder than I thought. I'll probably have to like put this on the floor and get real primitive with this to punch out the other holes that I need. But this one that I already have is going to be the XLR out for the dark glass. And then I'm gonna do another one for the MIDI out to control the HX stomp. So yeah, let's get working on that. I already got one out, but now we have to do the other one. Uh, I'm gonna be punching out this one right here. Now, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. This didn't come with instructions or anything. So I'm just gonna punch it out like with just a hammer and a screwdriver. So yeah, I mean, if I'm doing this wrong, please let me know and embarrass me in the comments. Actually, that was really freaking easy. What the hell? The other one I did over here was hard as freak, but I'm trying not to cuss by the way. I cuss a lot. I do have a potty mouth. There you go. So, now we have to punch out the screw holes on the sides up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops. No. Okay, there we go. Got both out. So now I'm gonna bring the table back and we're gonna try to screw everything in to this patch bay. Okay, so I have the patch bay with the holes cut out. I have all my screws and then I have the modules and the adapters. Well, I guess these are the adapters and these are the wires. But yeah, let's go ahead and see if I can get these in. Okay, there we go. I have both modules into the little patch bay that I made here. This is a Gator brand, like little patch bay thing with the ridges. I don't know, I'll link in the description. But yeah, let's move on. Okay, so next I'm going to work on the pedal board right here. Um, I figured out which wires I'm going to use. I have kind of spare rock cable wires. So I'm going to go ahead and use these since I've never had any problems with these and I really enjoy them. So yeah, let's get the Velcro down and get everything secured here. Okay, so there it is. The whole little pedal board is done. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff together in the actual rack unit. Okay, so everything so far is fitting together really nicely. Um, I just finished the pedal board and the patch base. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in at the bottom down here. So yeah, we're almost done. Okay, so I have all the wires now to plug everything in. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything connected. So I got this one foot IEC cable to make sure that I don't have any like, slack anywhere. I'm gonna plug that in here and then plug the firm in. There we go. Next, I'm gonna move on to the Korg Pitch Black. You might not be able to see it down there, but the power supply is on this side right here. 
So this is the nine volt DC power supply that it came with. Plug it in over here. So I'm gonna loop it through the top of the IEC cable for the power stage because I don't want it to be resting on the HX stump. So now let's go ahead and do the pedals. So this is the power for the HX stomp. This one has like it's weird like their own little plug for the HX stomp. Yeah, this way. Put it in there. And then plug it in. All right, now we're down to the last two. I have these, I got these off of Amazon. It's like Blue Coil, that's the brand. Blue Coil. Um, I'm gonna use this to power the Avalanche Run and the Dark Glass independently just to have the cleanest power possible for both. There we go. That is for the Dark Glass element. I might need to pull one out. And there we go, that is for the Avalanche Run. So I plan to clean up all these wires. Um, I don't want to do that on camera though, just because I might need to put on some headphones and listen to something to do this in peace because wires are not a fun thing to do um, or to clean up, but yeah, I'll do that on my own. Okay, so now I'm gonna be plugging in the inputs and outputs. I'm also gonna be using these rock board cables. So I'm gonna be going with my instrument in, I'm gonna be going into the Korg Pitch Black Pro so I'm going to make sure that the output on the back is going into the input on the HX stump. Then I have this output connected to my dark glass element and this is gonna go around to the front into the Power Stage 700. Then this is gonna be my output where I run out into my cabinets. All right, so this is the front of the unit. This is the quarter inch jack that came out of the dark glass and I'm gonna go ahead and throw it into the right input of the Seymour Duncan power stage and that completes this whole thing. So let's plug it in and see if it works. Okay, so I got my base and now we have the moment of truth. Everything should be able to turn on with this one switch right here on the Furman power supply. So let's see. There we go, so it looks like everything is turning on. I have power in the dark glass. I should get power, I see power on the HX stomp. There we go, you just saw the red light come on. And I have power in the avalanche run as well as the Seymour Duncan power stage. And there we go, I have power in the Korg Pitch Black Mini. Like I said, I'm powering everything with the Melo Audio MIDI Commander. And I noticed I put the MIDI switch upside down, so that's something I'll have to take out and adjust. So, yeah, I mean, it works. <laughs> I do hear some flubbing in there. So that might be with one of the wires or something that I might have to adjust or maybe change out. Um, but everything seems to be working. The, the MIDI commander seems to be getting signal through the module into the actual pedal. So I'm able to change my tones right here while controlling everything in the HX stump. This thing is finally done. I've been collecting things piece by piece for months. So I'm glad it is finally done. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Maybe learned something or were entertained. So yeah, thanks.